Guess who's in Spain? Me, 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 me. I am in Spain and if you were seeing what I was seeing right now, the view is incredible. You know, some people, my dad actually said that, like people work their asses off for like the whole year. Work a job they don't like or work a job that they're half like semi like to save money to go on holiday. And that is so very true. Like my parents have worked incredibly hard to take us on this holiday and I'm very, very grateful. Sorry, I just got a phone call, but Anyways, I, what was I saying? So yeah, we went for dinner, um, just like in like the central Magaluf and oh my God, it really has its reputation name, Shagaluf. Like, I don't know if you've seen that. I might have to bleep it out or something, but it's, it really pipes up to its um, name. Not gonna lie, it really does pipe up to its name. It is very much like lads, 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 lads on holiday. And it's very much like girls, like very pretty girls, just like everywhere, so. It's very much like what it is and what everyone says. Like, so maybe today I need to do some research and see what we can do, where we can go, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, you're bored of me talking. I will show you the real view, except me, you know, I own view, but I'll show you the actual view. Look at it. 10 out of 10 view. And there's some um, like horses like down there. There's like stables or something. Um, but yeah, I think the swimming pool is like around the corner. Wow. And then like Magaluf is down there. And then Magaluf is like on the other side. The view, the view is 10 out of 10. And if you don't, if you don't think, or if you don't want to wake up and see that view and drink your morning coffee on a balcony every single morning. That's me 70 years from now on, drinking coffee on a balcony and looking at a view like that. See the salad. See the salad perhaps ten times more abroad, especially in Spain, compared to like back home in England. Like I don't know what it is, don't know what they put in there, I don't know what magic they put in there. Ten times better, just saying. Um we also got some like snack. Got snack. Ten to ten. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Good. Hello, ladies and gents. How are we? Oh, I have a spawn here. Anyways. Don't really want to start the vlog with that, but hello. I'm I, I'm not so bad, though you can see I have a slight tan going on and it's only day one, so 10 out of 10 behavior. Um, we're going out for dinner, but I need to choose what to wear. Just showered. I need to choose what to wear. Don't know what to wear. It's, it seems that it's slightly cooler than what it was yesterday in the evening. Um, but anyway, it's still 30 degrees, but there's a slight wind of gust, gust of wind. Um, so I might go with a pair of trousers, you know? I don't know what I'm feeling. Am I feeling beige? Actually. Hi. Final outfit choice for day one. It's threaded, tank top, H&M. I do like this because it's like ribbed, ribbed effect. And then trousers Zara. And then shoes added ass. Okay, this is the very minimal makeup. Like I just kinda emphasize the skincare because I use this um kinda like it's it's a serum, it's not a serum, but it's like a primer. It's very much like a like glittery primer. It's not glittery, but it's a 
shiny primer um, from the brand Viv. So my tote bag is from there as well, but the brand is called Viv. And I think it's pretty new. This is the brand. And I went with the Dior um, full, full coverage concealer, which I love. I can literally just use it by itself. Or maybe these ones, this and this, or this and this. I think this and this works out actually quite well. Because this is very, very oversized. This is from Collusion. I don't think I've worn it yet. It's from ASOS. But this, I think this matches. I think I'm going to go for this with my black bag. They bought this. You give us the check. That is done. I'm going up to the room because I'm slightly in heights. That was a hard. some wafer chocolate things and then a lip ticed me baby
Right, back in the room. Had some lunch, had a sandwich, had some crisps, and then now I'm just gonna chill. Chill. Um, might do some editing, have a nap, and see where the day takes me. Sounds like a me, you know? I have a crater on my face currently. We're gonna go and have some breakfast. I think everyone else started, went to work out. Um, but this morning I was like, I really can't be arsed. I can spend some legs as well. And I have no energy to do legs. So I was like, do you know what? Let's just skip legs. Have a little bit of a lie in. The sun rush. Where just like oil and sweat gets trapped. And then it just like takes time to heal, but I don't have time. I'm here until Tuesday and then I'm going. So this just needs to go away. And it's only here. Like I have a few spots here, but it's fine. And I don't see it. It's not on my arm. It's no, it's just here. How annoying. Anyways. I'm excited to go home, but also I'm excited to go in my bed because didn't really sleep that long today. Like it was very like warm, the air condition stopped for some reason for the past couple of days. So um, it was very hot in that room and I just kept tossing and turning and waking up. So I'm excited to go and sleep in my own bed, in my own room. I think today I'm going to be ultimately tanning because yesterday I didn't tan at all. Uh, we went to Palma yesterday. And then we came back and then had a massive nap. And then I was meant to go to the beach, but then nobody walked me to go to the beach, so we didn't go to the beach. So yeah, um, but today I'm gonna be tanning, tan, tan, tan. Slightly cloudy today. Well, not today, but it was sunny until like 12, half 12 for now. I think it's like one o'clock. Look at how many yachts there are. I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm gonna have a sandwich and some crisps, glazed paprika. I think the paprika flavor here is, because I only have paprika, paprika, cheese and onion, chicken, 
I think that's it really. But I think the paprika flavor is the best if you ask me. And also, if you can get your hands on the Nesti Maracuya. I think Maracuya is passion fruit, From judging from that, that's a passion fruit. So I'm guessing that's passion fruit, but the Nesti passion fruit, I haven't seen it in England anywhere. Or have I? No, I haven't actually seen it anywhere in the supermarket. It's so good. The Nesti Maracuya Nesti passion fruit, to die for. Just honey. This is a check. A check. 